Hi Q, episode 11. We got a game coming up. Time for some training. He really leaves his house at the crack of dawn every day with super high enthusiasm. How does he do it? It's pure love. Look at this dude. That's me. That's what I'm like at the crack of dawn in my dreams. Because I'm still sleeping. <laughs> or I'm about to go to sleep. Very excited to sleep. His enthusiasm is just so infectious, though. I've actually been thinking, partly due to this show, that I'm going to join... Not volleyball. I don't think that's what it's going to be for me. But some kind of sports. Some kind of sports league. Either basketball, but I'm actually leaning towards, like... Some kind of fighting. Ugh, studies. Episode 11, Decision. Yeah, this definitely feels like the start of a new arc. We've got most of the team, maybe all the team. All these holes. It's full of holes. That's what we've all been waiting for. They're just naturals at this. Their offense is excellent. Oh, what, they live together? Damn, they're taking this training camp very seriously. Surprise, surprise. That's like a legit camp, like camp camp. He's the only one not on board with the crew. And this seems awesome. I would love this. What was even the point of coming if there were no girls? No girl, excuse me. Oh, this vacation, or I mean camp, just got a whole lot brighter. It melted their faces off. They are so, so desperate. <laughs> if IQ wants to delve into full realism, at least one member of the volleyball team will just vanish because he finds a girlfriend. And suddenly, all of life's pursuits seem somewhat meaningless. What? More like a ghost? Just throw salt at it and call it a day. That would be a really odd twist if this was a ghost story. Now I just see spirits. Oh, that is hair. He seems like such a joy to coach. He's going to elevate everyone, Nana. Just with his sheer energy and enthusiasm. That's true, they're kind of in competition with each other. I mean, Kageyama is just an unbelievable talent. Yeah. Makes sense. But it would be so satisfying for Sugawara to start if he wants to. He's such a solid, great kid. But he wouldn't want charity either. He doesn't seem like that kind of person. Yeah, that, that hurts. But I mean, it's it's sports. And he can still play, even if he doesn't start. Who is this shady character? Joining the training camp? What's going to be the connection? Joining the team or a future competitor? <laughs> that is kind of just lingering right now. We have that in common. He's got cat eyes. I guess we're not the only training camp in this area. Yep, I think we will. Probably very soon. Yep, they're the upcoming match, probably. Sorry, I was just bothering strangers <laughs> with no invitation. Just decided to have an in-depth conversation about volleyball. The way he's talking so casually while on this mountain jog. 
I wonder what he thinks about... Okay, there it is. Okay. I mean, he's such a sweethearted, kind-natured guy that... I mean, he wants to make it, right? He wants to make it on his own merits, but he won't be upset if he doesn't. Or he'll still root for Kagama, either way. Well, they got the two of them in the... Oh, no! Oh! I mean, he still got it, but... Interesting that they chose both of them for this mid-card of this episode. I don't know what he's going to say. He's going to make some kind of appeal. I would be very surprised if this is him requesting to be put it on the basis of him playing in his final year. It feels a lot more likely to me that this is going to be a request for no favoritism. That's what I thought. Very grown up. And he's such an empath that he <laughs> figured out that the coach was having that dilemma. You're a good boy. <laughs> is what he means. Yes, exactly. Oh, and they're listening. You know what would make Sugiwara feel good? Getting a chance to play volleyball with his friends one last time. You know what would make Sugiwara feel great? A championship. That's the highest goal. And that requires them to be at their best. These kids are eating so good. From 18 hours of volleyball, daily. Yeah. I feel like he probably just came to that realization or conclusion himself. He settled something within his own soul. It feels right. Oh, oh, we got it. That went by so fast. But again, just as always, at least so far in the show, to give it full perspective, this is still just an exhibition match. It's still just practice. Yeah, one one goal. It's winning. And everyone's so great. Everyone's so cool. They'll always understand. Gotta stay on your toes. It's also great that Hinata made the starting team. I should definitely go back and look at that roster again. I'm gonna be honest, this is one of the hardest shows I've ever watched because of the names. Who is Azumane? Alright, I'm not doing anything that could spoil. I'm just looking at... Literally a, a list of their names. Azumane is Asahi, and Sawamura is Daichi, alright. It's hard because I know some of them by first name and some of them by last names. But yeah, Hinata made it! Yeah, winning takes a different level of crazy. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I understand how that would be embarrassing and hurt. I don't know, there's a lot of plateaus, and the higher up in school you go, the harder the plateaus are to break through. Who is the ace now? So did I, I, I totally knew that, and all of... Volleyball facts and data. Isn't this their second uniform reveal? <laughs> Is it the little giant? Damn. What an honor that they paid attention to Hinata like that. Assuming it was intentional. Okay. <laughs> Still cool. Still cool. Well, this time it seems like their heart, as I called it, is the setter. Right, the, the bird bird cat battle. Crowbat. Crow crow cat. I don't know, I've seen better sets, serves, whatever. Setups. This is the most vital piece of information. Oh, they've already lost. Whatever the outcome of the game. <laughs> I don't know why that is, though. Like, in my high school, maybe my high school was weird. Volleyball was really, really popular among female students. So there were a lot of girls involved in the volleyball world. Well, very exciting. I mean, they seem like a really tight 
Solid crew themselves. He's volleyball meditating. That's not it. I mean, he's half of that equation, so. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Especially those Dawn bike rides. Time for a cliffhanger. Face off. Interesting. Highlight of this episode for me, easily Sugawara. All of them are very distinct in their personalities and they're just really easy to root for. Really easy to see their flaws and how they're working to overcome them and how essential each of them is to the whole and how this group is just so special, not just in its individual elements, but in how they come together. Sugawara, he's, he's one of the characters that just feels so kind. He's just such a good, warm-hearted person. He's easy to love. It's hard not to watch the show and compare it to My Hero Academia because I've watched My, My Hero Academia first and I think they were running around the same time and who knows, maybe even influenced each other. But I think one thing that the, the cast of both this show and the My Hero Academia students have in common is that they don't let themselves go down roads that are all too common and easy where rather than rise up to their their best and identify their own weaknesses and seek to improve for the good of each other and themselves they become bitter or overly competitive try to bring others down become spiteful i think a common element in both of them is a propensity to take responsibility to acknowledge the things that they can't control and also accept kind of where they've been and what they've done and use everything as fuel to seize each moment that they have and bring their best to every single situation going forward once they become aware of what they are i don't know i, I think that's right it's something that resonates with me really deeply even though it's hard to do in practice to the level that these characters do it and i think a critical part of that whole process is that they do a really great job balancing that line between responsibility and blame you know they don't sit around beating themselves up for their their failings, their mistakes. They don't see their inadequacies as curses that will forever plague their being. They just see them as challenges to be overcome. And that gives them something to do. It gives them something to work on. It gives them purpose. And from that purpose, they gain strength, which is what makes it so cool to watch. <laughs> For the next episode, I kind of suspect they lose to this rival team. And I honestly think that would kind of be a good thing. Because again, this is not a ranked match. This is an exhibition. The big zoomed out perspective is still just growth and finding their own weaknesses. They will meet this team again in actual play. So it feels like there's more opportunity for growth, more opportunity for what they need in a loss, especially if they're testing out a new system or a new setup that they haven't really had that much time to practice.